Hello everyone, welcome to Production Lab. In this video, we're going to have loads of fun. I'm going to show you how to create this big orchestral patches. I'm going to show you how to do it from scratch. So as you can see, we're going to create a really dynamic sound that consists of loads and loads of layers. So you can play stuff like this. But when you hit it hard, let's get started. In order to create this orchestral mega patch, I'm going to use two things. I'm going to use the free Hylian Sonic 7, and I'm also going to use Iconica Sketch as my orchestra today. Now, Iconica Sketch is included in Cubase 13, so if you have Cubase 13 and you haven't downloaded it, what are you doing? Download it because you're going to be able to create sounds like this. But you can also use this technique with other orchestras like Iconica Sections and Players or Iconica Ensembles. Let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my Iconica Sketch patches right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to layer these sounds in the 16 slots that we have available in Halion Sonic 7. So I'm going to select some instruments and the patch that I'm going to create is going to be a staccato, staccatissimo patch where all the players in the orchestra play in 2D. So they all play together the same note. So let's start. I'm going to start with the low end. I'm going to start with with my basses, I'm going to add them to slot one. Then I'm going to add my celli on slot two. Next, I'm going to add my trombones here. So I'm going to select my trombones, drag and drop it right here. And now I'm going to start taking care of my tenor, alto and soprano instruments. So I'm going to start with the violas. I'm going to add a layer of violins. So I'm going to add my first violins. For the very, very top end of the orchestra, I'm going to add the piccolo here to add a little bit of sheen. And then I'm going to add some percussion. I'm going to add some timpani to get those big hits. Another bass instrument, I'm going to add the tuba here and some chromatic percussion. And I'm going to add the tubular bells. This is going to be just for color when I hit those notes really hard. And for the low end for my woodwinds, I'm going to add the contrabassoon here. And I can add more and more instruments until I reach the limit of 16 slots, but I'm going to leave it there because this is going to sound very big already. Now, the first thing I need to do if I want to play all these instruments at the same time is I'm going to go to MIDI and make sure that my channel here is set to one for all the instruments. So I'm going to set all of these to one. Otherwise, you need to set your Cubase input channel to Omni or have several MIDI channels if you want separation. But in this case, I want to play them all at once. Okay, good. Now we can play all the instruments at the same time. And now here's where we need to take care of our patch so that we can make it dynamic and also we can make it so that it makes sense. So I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to start taking care of each layer. So I'm going to go to basis first. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to select my articulation. So right here, I'm going to select spiccato for my basis. Let's solo them. So there we go. Now we have our basses, they play spiccato. And now I'm going to start treating my basses and this is where the magic is. So pay attention because what I'm going to do on the basses here, I'm going to do on every instrument. But the principle is exactly the same. So the first thing I want to do is I want to think how I'm going to play this patch. Because the basses go all the way down to this low C0. I want to make sure that this C0 aligns with the celli. So I'm going to transpose it up one octave. And how do you do this? You go to the MIDI page in Halion Sonic and then you can transpose your double basses. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to minus 12 actually. And now I brought this octave right here. Now, here's the other thing that we absolutely need to do if you want to make sure that when you play, you won't experience problems like switching the articulations by accident. So as you can see, all the instruments right here, they have key switches. So I don't want to trigger these key switches. I want to make sure that all the instruments are in spiccato mode and I'm not going to trigger those key switches while I'm playing because I'm going to have a wide range of playable octaves here. So in order to avoid this, we're going to do something clever. I'm going to go to MIDI here and I'm going to limit 
the range of the instruments depending on these key switches. So as you can see, these are all playable, but these are key switches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my high key limit and I'm going to limit those so that these key switches are not accessible anymore. So like this. So this way I can play the last note here, but I cannot trigger these key switches anymore. Perfect. Now I'm going to do exactly the same with the other instruments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my cello here. I'm going to select spiccato again. I'm going to go to my trombones and right here I'm going to select staccato. And I'm going to limit the ranges as well. So go to cello and for the cello, as you can see, the key switches are down here. So I'm going to limit the low range so that I can play the low note of the cello. So now if I play the basses and the cello, check what happens. Already really powerful. Let's go to the trombones and I'm going to limit the range again. Already sounding huge, right? And wait, because we're not done yet. So I'm going to go to the violas now and let's go and limit the range first. I'm going to select the spiccato articulation. And for the violas, I want them to play straight away when I play these low notes. So I'm going to transpose them again. I'm going to go plus 12 in this case because I want to make sure that they play right here. And now I can play them right here along with the cello and the basses. Because we want this 2D sound, right? And we want all the instruments to play at the same time. So now I'm going to again limit the key switches. And now let's see what we have. Let's add the instruments one by one. Basses, cello, trombones, violas. Now here's the thing I want to do straight away. I want to start balancing these instruments and it's very easy to do it in Hylian Sonic. All you need to do is go to the mix here and now I can start balancing these instruments. So I can start with my basses and move on to the violas. Let's start with the basses. Now these have loads of low ends, so I'm going to try and make sure that they're not so loud because they might overpower everything. So let's go like this. Let's add the cello. the trombones and maybe I want to pan the trombones a little bit to the left maybe the bass is a little bit to the right which is very typical for the orchestral setup but of course you can experiment you don't have to stick to the classical orchestral placement if you want to. Violas. And bear in mind, right here I'm using Iconica Sketch. It's such a powerful orchestra. Let's go for the violins now. Again, I'm going to go spiccato and I'm going to make sure that we bring them down here as well. And as you can see, if you don't transpose exactly on the octave, you get this interesting intervals if you want to go down that road. Again, I'm going to limit the notes and I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm going to do it for every patch. I'm gonna go and mix the violins in. I think they're a little bit too loud right now. Now I'm going to show you something else that I think is very, very useful if you want to make these mega patches very expressive. So as you can see here, it's already very expressive.
But if I want, I can make sure that, for example, my trombones only come in when I hit a certain velocity. So they're already there, even though I'm playing really, really quietly. So what I'm gonna do, again, another very cool thing that you can do with Halion Sonic, you go back to your MIDI page and then you go to the velocity range page. Now, right here, I can say, I want my trombones to play only when I play louder than, let's say, 70 when it comes to velocity. So, so see, they don't play right now. Same with the violins. Maybe I want to have no violins when I play quietly. Let's try it out. See, the violins appear only when I play really hard. So you get this ultra dynamic sound. This is a big part of the sound if you want to get these very dynamic and big orchestral 2D patches. Now, I'm going to add the piccolo. I'm going to go with the same exact philosophy here. I'm going to select my piccolo, make sure that we have the staccato selected. And then again, for the piccolo, I'm going to make sure that it only plays when we have really loud parts. I want these bursts of the piccolo to come in when I play loud. So in this case, I've set up the piccolo to only play when I hit velocities higher than 80. Check it out. But when I play lower than 80, we won't hear it. And maybe it's a little bit too loud, so I'm going to go to the mix here. And just pull it down a little bit. Maybe just pan it. For the timpani, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I only want the timpani to hit when I play really hard. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my MIDI, and from my velocity range, I'm going to limit it to over 120. So that when we have over 120 velocity values, we're going to hear the timpani. If we don't... Now, in this case, I want the timpanis to hit really hard. So I'm going to go to my edit page and just pull up the level a little bit. But now I want to go also a little bit into mixing territory because I want these timpanis to have more presence, a little bit more attack. So what I can do is I can actually go ahead and mix them. So as you can see right here, I am in the program page, but if I go to inserts, check what we can do. I can go to inserts here and now I can go ahead and add a nice EQ right here. In this case, I'm going to select the Studio EQ24 that I like a lot, and I'm going to add a little bit of attack here with the top end. See that? I can really hone in the sound. And it might look like it's a lot, but uh, with all these instruments that we have here, we really need these timpanis to cut through. Maybe I can add a tiny bit of low end as well. So as you can see, with Halion Sonic, you can do so much by layering the sounds. It's not just that you add them in the slot there and that's it, that's all you can do. You can tweak the sound exactly how you want. Let's add the tuba, the contrabassoon, and now for the tubular bells, I'm going to go to MIDI and I'm going to transpose them to 36 semitones because I want them to play down here. But I'm going to limit the velocity to just 127. So only if I play the loudest velocity, I'm going to get the tubular bells. I'm going to pull them down in volume. They don't need to be so loud. And now let's play and see what we have. And 
now I can start fine tuning the sound. I think that these piccolos are still a little bit a tad loud, so I'm going to turn them down a little bit. And now we can add the cherry on top. If I want, I can go to my effects and let's say I want to put this orchestra inside a nice room. I can go here to my main output and this is where all the instruments go and I can select a reverb. So I'm going to select the reverb right here and I'm going to add a tiny bit of reverb just to make all the instruments blend together, place them in the same room. Just a tiny bit. And maybe we want to add a little bit of sweetening EQ. So I'm going to go to my EQ24. I really like this EQ. So maybe I can add a little bit of top end. Or low end. And you can see that because the sound is so rich, even the tiniest move in the EQ makes a big difference. So try not to go overboard with this. And there you go, we have our final patch. So there you go, this is how you create a mega orchestral 2D patch in Halion Sonic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next in Production Lab, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.